but there were some communities that still did not quite trust you know the imperial Japanese that were coming through and so they had built resistance groups and so the Japanese discovered ah oh my goodness the Filipinos have a sophisticated system did not know this culturally about the Filipinos they had no intelligence about this so at that time they said, you know what, we're going to do a cultural exchange type program. I don't know what they call it exactly. And so they put out an invitation to many Filipino martial arts teachers and said, we now want to recognize that you have something of value to give. We would like to share this knowledge to the Japanese. Let's, let's exchange information. And uh, so a great number of martial arts teachers from the Philippines said, great, they're, they're including us in. Well, what ended up happening is they invited all these people on these ships that were supposed to go to Japan for this cultural exchange program. Not everybody bought it. Um, well, that ship never made it to Japan with those Filipino martial arts teachers. Because those Filipino martial arts teachers were killed at sea. They destroyed the knowledge. They destroyed the information. You look at history. What do you do normally when an invading force comes in? Who do they kill? They usually kill the knowledge and sometimes they kill the history teachers. They were killing all the martial arts teachers, many they could get their hands on, because they didn't want these villages coming up and, and uprising. 